get this old dot matrix printer going. It's uh, it worked good. I got it from a guy that had a store, and he uh, went out of business, so he sold me this old printer. And it works good. It's one fan fold, uh, one of fan fold paper. You know, you can use that or you can it's sheet pad if you want to do one at a time. But anyway, it's worked great on the old 98s and that. But uh, I am trying to get to work on Windows 7. First thing I did is I got one of those adapter cables, supposed to adapt from a USB down up to a parallel port plug thing, and that didn't work at all. So then I went ahead and got me a, a PCI card for the parallel port, and I put that in there. It worked somewhat, but not real good. So I've got another PCI card here, and I'm going to try that here in a little bit and see if I can get that thing to actually work. It's a good old printer, I mean, and it's so much cheaper to print text because you just use a ribbon, and the ribbon's only five bucks, as opposed to ink cartridge and that HP over there. All right, after a while I'm going to get to it, so we'll be back in a little while. Proceed to try to take and change them PCI cards. Like I say, that one that uh, is in here is not working. It works part of the way, but not all the way. So. Uh, I want to attempt to attempt to change that deal. All right, I better get my glasses before we start. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Let's see. All right. Yeah. We're gonna take the old one out first, so. Take this lock thing off here. There's that one. I don't remember exactly how it comes out. Just like that. And this one here just slips out and comes out that way. Yeah, it's a little different from this one. We're going to hope this one works. I think I'm grounded good enough where it ain't going to affect it too much. Okay, slip this back in here from when something came back in here. Let's see, get up here. Gotta make sure we get the little slots lined up. Yeah, where are we at here? There it is. Down there. Get it just right so it'll make contact good. There, it snap, snapped in pretty good. And now, all we got to do here is uh, figure out how this goes back. So I'm just going to go like this here. Yeah. Goes like that. Try to hold that thing in place. And of course, we reverse our little screwdriver. These little screwdrivers are handy. Uh, take much of that operation unless you just hope it works. All right, now that's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that except it just don't work. You know. I'll put it back in a little anti-static bag here. I don't know what I'll ever use it for, but maybe somebody want it for something. And then, of course, we've got to go back and put our, put our cover back on. That's always a trick to get them little, all them little things they got there lined up. Although that time it looked like it went pretty good. All right, then, let me get this started again. In there. And uh, reattach this screw. And shortly, I'm going to hook this computer back up and uh, we'll see if she prints. Yesterday, in my haste, I uh, didn't get this little thing perfectly square like it's supposed to be, so I'm going to redo it. I don't think it makes any difference, but just to make sure that. It does. We'll go ahead and rearrange it a little bit. Ain't much to it. It's just a matter of changing this clip over here, I think. And uh, getting that thing set in there right. Let's see, it's better come down here. See, that's the place where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to set in that little bitty knot right there, which I didn't have it that way. And, uh, of course, uh, I'm about to forget where I put that thing. 
Okay, then this will go down here and that will hold that. Oops, yeah, right place here. Don't get goofy here. Where are you here? Where is that thing? There's a whole place right there. Alright, now get everything all rigged, rigged up here. Yeah. And uh, put your back together. That is much better. Much better. Alright. Okay, now we'll attempt to get this back on here, which you know, sometimes get real bare and sometimes it ain't. That wasn't too bad. Now then. See if we can get that cover screw back on that drop in some place. Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm trying to do is out my glasses. Yeah. Now we got this good boy back together. Everybody else got bad boys. At least that'd be a good boy here. Uh, we'll be better if he works, but uh, I don't think that printer's going to be any different. I think that didn't really affect anything. All right, I'm going to hook it back up and see what happens. I don't think it'd be any different than it was, though. All right, uh, we'll see what happens here in a minute. The printer to work somewhat. It's uh, still not perfect. Sometimes you have to push the button, uh, the power button off and then back on. Get it to work, but at least it's better than it was before. It's a really good old printer for that is, but I just had a little problem getting the compatibility right, I guess. I don't even know what the problem was. But anyway, it's working a little bit better than it did, and I'm happy about that much at least. Had to spend a little money and then that one cord and then a few PCI um, hard things there to make it work, but it's better than nothing. I guess we'll have to accept it the way it is. I can't seem to figure out nothing else. All right, that'll be good for this.